Okay, now I'm back with a good old tennis ball. Who knew this could be so helpful? Um, also, again, this is some trigger point release. Um, any release work is usually a little painful, it should be, but it's painful enough to tolerate and breathe through. It shouldn't be where you're in enormous amounts of pain or you feel shocks or like an electric type of feeling. That's something I would say as a warning signal, that's not what is a good thing for your body. So just pay attention to it. Always ask a doctor, but this is stuff I do with my mat class. This, um, things I do with the tennis ball for clients that have problems with foam rolling or to like, you know, either have shoulder problems or low back problems to bridge themselves on it. So first things first, let's not neglect our feet. So I am pushing down on this tennis ball. I'm squeezing my toes. I'm holding on to something for the support. So you could hold on to a chair, make sure you're on something other than just a hardwood floor because that tennis ball is going to want to shoot up. So right here, I'm just kind of curling and squeezing my toes over it. I'm just feeling like I can really sink the whole front of the foot over it. Then I'm going to go kind of a little bit more into the foot before the arch. Again, pushing it. I'm literally pushing this tennis ball, like smushing it as best as I can. Then I'm going to keep that pressure and just roll into my foot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've had horrible allergies, so <clears throat> my voice has been super raspy lately, so excuse me. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go to the inside arch of my foot, kind of massaging there. This is diagnosing your own tension, guys. Everybody has it different. I'm gonna go to the outside of my foot. I'm gonna really sink into that arch and really find any tension through the center of the arch, the inside of the arch, or the outside of the arch. And then I'm gonna go onto my heel I'm just gonna kind of like stand onto it, maybe gently wiggle my foot side to side, trying to open up the joint, the ankle joint and the talus. Just kind of feeling a soft knee so I can stand into it. Then I'm gonna do the whole other thing on the other side. What's kind of fun to do is to try standing on one foot after you've just done one and not the other and notice the difference between releasing. And like on this side, I just got, you know, an adjustment, oops, second adjustment, which is nice because we forget about our feet. We don't realize how tight they get. And so I'm just going to do that whole thing of going through the foot. It's really at your own uh, pace and what feels good to you, but also what you feel like it's good areas to focus on. And if you feel tightness inside the arches, notice that. If you feel it mostly on the outside of the arches, notice that front of the foot, notice that, just kind of know what your points are so you can work into them and try to change those points of tension. Tightness is weakness. So here's the tennis ball. I'm gonna go into some stuff for the hamstring. So you're just literally, you can do this sitting in a chair. You don't have to be on this table here. You're gonna diagnose, again, rolling the body forward to back. Where is tightness in your hamstring? I'm gonna sit a little forward actually. And when you feel a spot, whoop, there's one. <laughs> so just sit onto it, just kind of, you know, find your body weight, use your upper body if you can. You can also be long leg on a mat where you're gonna have to lift your body up a little bit. If you're in a chair with the leg over, the heavier the leg is on the prop, the better. So I'm just gonna go into that point. I felt like I could achieve it better right here. And I'm gonna sit into it. And then I'm just gonna kind of like swing my leg a little bit, make friends with it, shooting up all the way underneath my butt bone right now. So again, it's traveling, which shows me it's more than just a knot. I'm gonna kind of work into it. And I'm then gonna go, you know, to lower all up and down. So I don't, I don't wanna waste your time, but you're going throughout the hamstring. Do not go behind the knee though, please. And just make sure again that you feel like it's effective and not that you're hurting yourself but it on a pain level one to ten um one being the least ten being the most for trigger point release and fascial release soft tissue release it should be about a seven so just be aware of that breathe through it if you haven't done it before or you're new to it take your time come off of it i i swear you'll learn to love it um some of my clients think I'm crazy saying that, but I'm not. Because it really helps a lot. So I'm doing this before I'm gonna go teach a math class and have it moved all weekend. 
because I've been at home and God forbid I want to work out on the weekends when that's what I do all week. So I'm just, I don't have as, as many on this left side. I'm going to notice that. I'm just going to kind of, I have a little bit of one here, so I'm just going to try to sit on it, maybe push my body into it slightly. Let's get into there. Remember, there's three different uh, hamstring heads. So you want to hit outside, center, inside, all the way from your butt underneath your glute down to the bottom of the belly of the hamstring, or through the belly of the hamstring. Okay. So now that you've done that, kind of just maybe ankle circle your feet, shake your legs out. You can stand up and do the same thing. Maybe stretch, touch your toes a little bit, whatever feels good to you. If you have lower back pain or hip, like posterior, like pelvic crest, um, either center of the back, one side, um, this is a good one to try. So again, this is kind of trial and error. Please consult your doctor. I'm not a doctor. So I know I always love to get one in my left. And so I'm gonna bridge my body up. And if that's too hard for you, even if your back's too sore, just lay on it. Just lay your body on it. So again, you're going into this kind of QL area, anywhere that's right next to the spine, out to the midline of the body. So you wanna just feel like where it is. I have one right here. And it's really from the pelvic crest, all the way up to underneath or like right below where the rib cage is in the back so your posterior rib cage um, you can absolutely do this on shoulders and stuff too just you always need to be careful just where you're putting it it's harder when it's on a bone try to diagnose if you're closer to the spine and if you want to come up and try to roll up and down with just the tennis ball it's a great way to get into like a smaller area than you can with a foam roller and when you find that point of tension, just go into it. Have one right here, it's going down my IT band, so I know that's a sign that it's you know some kind of trigger point, whether that's the exact point or the point's coming from somewhere else. It just gives me that information. Go to the other side, of course. Always do both sides. I, I tell clients, no, no, you cannot just do one side. If your pain's on one side, and the other side feels free, then the best way to approach that would be roll the painful side, go to the opposite side, and then go back to that first side again for a little extra rolling if you can handle it. Do it when you're watching TV. Don't do it around small children. From what I found, they like to climb on you and it's definitely not um, helpful because it makes it way harder. So I'm just finding one right here. I'm pretty good at knowing where I'm at with my body and what I need, but you're just rolling around trying to find those spots and getting into it. And again, if you're somebody that's suffering from a lot of pain in the low back, you can just lay down or maybe take a knee to push more weight on, into it, rock side to side. Because, Or if you have shoulder issues, a lot of times holding yourself up in that position with the upper body is challenging. And you're just gonna try to find little places Discover your own body, discover where your tightness is. Truthfully, it's gonna cause you to be so free. You're gonna feel so much better after you start trying these things. And just kind of play around. Let, let yourself experiment with what you can free yourself of tension-wise. You can do this during the work day. You can, you know, of course, get up and just keep a tennis ball on your desk. I mean, unless you're in a you know, cubicle, people might think you're weird to lay down on the floor, but I definitely have clients that sit there at their desk and either roll their feet out or sit on the ball while they're at their chair, just kind of open stuff up because when we're sitting a lot, it causes a ton of problems for us. So I hope this helps. Just a little tutorial um, for you to take with you. If you like it, please hit like and you know, look into it if you're interested. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.